Yo, what's up, guys? What's up, y'all? Travis and Chris here. Today, we're going to talk to you about your church's marketing. We're going to be talking about marketing versus outreach, in fact. Marketing versus outreach. So here's the deal. We get uh, we get this question all the time, right? And people, for, for a lot of people, the word marketing is actually kind of a dirty word, right? Because it feels businessy, right? Mm -hmm. It feels, not everybody feels that way, but I, I would I would say at least 75% of the churches that I talk to, right? Uh, and, and and you guys are in this group, right? So you know that marketing is is important. Uh, but I, I want to flip your mindset a little bit. If you if you still struggle with that a little bit, right? And understanding, thinking that, that marketing, um, you know, is, is this marketing? or is this outreach or how is this work right a lot of people have a marketing outreach that's way smaller or a marketing budget excuse me that's way smaller than the outreach budget um, but we would like to propose that marketing is outreach yeah right so we, we think one of the one of the biggest things that people uh, have trouble with right is, is thinking that marketing is selfish marketing isn't selfish marketing is simply the invitation mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. you have to you have to market your church. Meaning, you just have to get the word out. You just have to invite people. So it seems like outreach is very uh, sexy and it's it's very selfless and like, hey, we're doing this for the community. We're doing this for people. We're serving people. But see, marketing is exactly that. Marketing is yeah. the invitation, right? It's just, it's getting the word out so you can invite people in so that you can change their lives. You're not promoting yourself, right? You're not doing that, man. You simply want to invite people to church and that's going to be a game changer. You think about the marriages that are restored at church. You think about the relationships that are healed, right? Like you, you think about lives that are completely put back together because of the Holy Spirit, because of the work that God's doing at your church. Why would you not let somebody know that? In fact, like yeah. we would we would venture to say you have a moral obligation to get the word out and to tell people about your church if God is moving there and if the things that are happening in your church are legitimately just blowing people's minds yeah. and healing families. And I mean, gosh, what if what if your church could could save parents and could save a marriage so that kids don't grow up in a divorced household, living with with, with one parent during the week and another one on the weekends? Like, man, and your church can do that. You have a moral obligation to those kids to be able to get the word out about your church. And, and not to mention, I mean, if you guys could see the testimonies, texts, emails, yeah. videos that we get on this side of things of the churches who are using uh, marketing, Facebook marketing, Instagram marketing to do this, what we're calling digital outreach. If you could see how many salvations uh, we're hearing about, how yeah. many, like you said, marriages being restored lives being restored, people getting back on track, people getting saved for the first time. It is literally because they put the money in their marketing. They have a product, Jesus, their church, their <laughs> culture. They have a product that is worth promoting. And so do you. That's why we do these videos. That's why we, we have this group. That's why we have the trainings. That's why we have everything is because we got to get you guys to see this as a digital outreach. This is what works right now, yep. today. We see so many churches who are still trying to do things the way you used to do them and longing for the good old days on how we could just, I don't want to say too much here, <laughs> do, do non-digital non outreach mm -hmm. and the church would still grow. And we're here to tell you, man, just know what works today and just use it to your advantage. Yeah. Go where the people are, Yeah. right? You, you can't do things the way that you've always done if you want to get somewhere that you've never gone, right? Right. So we've all we've all heard the quote before, right? In order to do something you've never done, uh, you have to do something you've never done, right? So yeah, here's here's the bottom line is um, with uh, so I, I was having a, a conversation uh, with a pastor friend of mine uh, a, a, a few uh, a few weeks ago, and it was really interesting because one of the things he had turned the Facebook ads off. So literally, Facebook ads had in just a matter of a couple months literally doubled his church. Mm -hmm. Right, he'd gone from like three fifty to six fifty seven hundred, um, and using uh, Facebook ads and planning visit and just absolutely crushing it. And one of the, uh, I mean, just just a complete stud. Right, he and his wife were just crushing it at their church, and 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 people are getting saved and joining the church. And I mean, it, it's 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 one of the most amazing move of guys I've seen in a long time. And they had turned the Facebook ads off for a little while, right? And it was just like, well, we're just, you know, we're trying to trying to save some budget here and we're doing this, right? It's justified. But at the end of the day, right, it's just like, well, I mean, you know, spend a lot of money in Facebook ads, like, right? Like, I mean, we can save a little budget and then we'll, we'll turn it back on for, for Christmas or we'll turn it back on back to school. It's like, no, 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 wait. This isn't a campaign, right? So you have to get out of the campaign mentality. Facebook ads aren't, you know, some type of like crappy, ineffective, outdated method like direct mail, 
right? Like this is this is something that's like, like direct mail. Like, oh, it's Easter. We run a direct mail piece. It's back to school. It's Christmas. This isn't campaign. This is lifestyle, right? Yeah. Like Facebook ads. It's a lifestyle evangelism, right? This is something you need to always be running. You should never not be running a Facebook ad, right? Which is basically yes. what I told him. Because I just told him, I said, man, do you understand the most Jesus that these people are going to get is you. And so if you stop showing up in their newsfeed, who's going to tell them about Jesus, right? Who's going to, who's going to invite them? And, yeah. and what, I, what I told him, I said, I mean, here's what you don't understand is that you being out there in those Facebook ads, continuing to stay in front of people and invite people, you are now pastoring, not just your church, you're pastoring your city, right? Like these people. And, it's a and big deal. It's a huge deal, right? Going from, from your sphere of influence, your church, right? Like to pastoring your city. And, and it just hit him and the light bulb came and he was like, oh my gosh, Chris, this isn't marketing. This is outreach. And I said, yes, <laughs> yes. And so he's like, dude, this is, this is literally digital outreach. I'm pastoring my city. I said, oh man, like we don't have to come up with a separate budget just for, for marketing, for Facebook ads. We can yes. use our outreach budget for yes. this. And like, yes, yes, that's the point, right? This is outreach. This is this is this is digital outreach, and this is what you need to be doing. And so, uh, what, what what's cool is he literally texted me at one o'clock in the morning that same night, right? So here it was like eight or nine hours later, texted me at one o'clock in the morning and said, "Bro, I literally just went through the McDonald's drive-through, and the girl handing me my food stopped yes. and said, "Hey, you're the Facebook pastor, right?" He said, "You're right. I'm pastoring yes. my city. This is outreach." And I was like, "Thank you." Right, like that girl, like man, she's just working at McDonald's doing it. We don't know what she's going through. We don't know what she's dealing with. We don't know where she's at spiritually, right? Like she didn't even know his name. She just knew. Wait, you're the Facebook pastor because he's pastoring his city, right? She hasn't visited yet. She maybe even hasn't given her life to Christ. We have no idea what's going on, but she knows that he's the answer, right? Like she thinks, yeah. oh yeah, he's the Facebook pastor. He has the answers. He has a church. I see him all the time. If I need something, right, she's gonna go there. I'm telling you, I guarantee, guarantee at some point. If he continues to run Facebook ads, continues to invite her to church, she's going to visit. And more than likely, man, she's going to answer an altar call. She's going to give her life to Christ. And, and her entire life will be turned around because he ran Facebook ads and finally recognized that, hey, this isn't marketing. This is outreach. Right. And then that's not the only story we have like that. We've had people tell us they're in the barber shops. <laughs> yeah. I remember that yeah. one. They're, that was super cool. Yeah. And, yeah. So we hear this stuff often. And it, it's you're going to be in front of the right people at the right time. And then they are going to be thinking of you when they're hurting. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but they will tell their friends if their friends are down, they're going to tell it. It's, it's exactly what you said. Like this has to become a lifestyle. This is not just a brief run these little campaigns here and there to try to get an Easter boost. Yep. Yeah. That's part of it. We do all that stuff too, but this is really, I, you just need to change the way you look at everything. And, yep, and, exactly and the pastors we're talking about, the ones who have, experience this massive success sometimes as high as doubling their church the reason they can grow so big and stay so big is because they've adopted that mindset that's it they see it that way that's it and that's and, and that's that's the whole point right it's just just understand like marketing versus outreach this isn't either or right it's not even both and it's the, the whole point yeah. is that marketing is outreach you have to tell the world and you have the solution you have a moral obligation to get the word out about your church all right so yeah. If you guys haven't already uh, signed up for the email list, uh, we have uh, Church Marketing Rescue that we are getting ready to uh, release here in just a couple of days. So make sure to sign up for the email list so you get uh, early access the moment we open yep. the doors. You're the first one to know about it. Yep, because you're in this group and on the email list, you guys get first access. The link will be below here. It's also at the top of the group. All right, we'll talk soon. See you guys. See you guys.